So... I've watched a drum alert video this morning. Which was probably around... Two or three a.m. in the morning, and I've seen a drama alert video that shows Call Me Carson's face. So I went to click on that, and as it turns out, it wasn't Call Me Carson again because I thought. When I first looked at it, when I checked my notifications, Keemstar once again has uh, has tried to clickbait the Call Me Carson situation way too far, thusly for forcing Carson to not respond any longer. Which I suspect that he will not respond as soon as Keemstar keeps milking the entire Calming Carson situation. And as it turns out, it was highly clickbaited to look something very, very similar. Keemstar, let's go! to the news! We have a whole nother Carson situation. Different YouTuber, but a Carson situation. We got Parrot of the Year on this... The reason why Keemstar has said another Carson situation, but a different YouTuber, led me to believe that it had to be someone else, but I couldn't tell if Kingstar was actually joking or not at first. Granted that the fact that he already milked the Calming Carson situation by forcing Calming Carson to respond immediately when he hasn't had the time to do so. So thankfully it wasn't the Calming Carson situation, but I definitely think that clickbaiting the Calming Carson situation into a different situation, which happens somewhere around here, is inappropriate. And speaking about getting caught in 4K, another YouTuber is getting hit with the Carson situation. You know what I'm talking about. A Roblox YouTuber known as Drew Plays with about 4,000 got exposed for sending pictures to people under age and well he admitted it by apologizing roll it i'm gonna take full actions what i did and i'm so sorry for what i did guys i'm really really sorry i apologize for what i did and sent a picture to a minor and i regret doing that i want to take full responsibility busted but that's not it then he started a live stream and uh apparently the police got called roll it <laughs> Now, a lot of people are saying he got arrested. I'm pretty sure he got swatted. I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Also, in the next. As you can see, the type of guy that Keemstar is is that Keemstar will. Let's say he has some smart ideas when to click big reviews, but uh, the fact that he used Call Me Carson in a gun mail to describe those types of allegations is not the same. Whatever that YouTuber is from, well, it 
it probably isn't a two year age gap then. So that probably counts. But if it is a two year age gap, then if he, you know, dated a minor two years younger than him, then that would be、uh, kind of, you know, not really big, a big deal. But that minor might have been like, At least eight or nine or ten at, at, the, at the most. So, for a certain YouTuber who, whose name is Drew Plays, to go and do this. He needs a stern talking to. A Twitter user named Derby has been the one covering this, which probably got Keemstar's attention. How?、Uh, multiple reasons. And, you know, we'll start from there. Because that's today's video, and I want to talk about this. So let's get right into it now. As you can see, the type of guy that he's t a r here it reads Trigger warning pedophilia, grooming, slurs, s t o x i c I need to address something important. Drew Place, 18 years old, an Adopt Me streamer, has recently groomed and sent explicit photos of him to a minor, 12 years old. His actions are disgusting. And by the looks of this, well, let's just say that. This is probably the end of Drew Place's career. Why? I'll read you from the start. My name is Andrew, but people call me Drew. Well, now I know his real name. His, his, his real name is Andrew, but he shortened it to Drew. And the victim's name has been blurred, so I probably can't read that. But she types A Y T, my name is Alice. What do you like to do in your free time? Then Andrew or Drew Blaze says, That is a beautiful name. I like gaming, music, and movies and writing. And Alice replies, Oh, well. Thanks. Drew plays, replies back a minute later, and he, which means no problem, with a smiley face. Alice replies, What turn you on with girls? Drew replied, Love, I get turned on with dirty mind. Then she replied, Ooh, I love sex. Sex. Ah. <laughs> Then Drew Plays replied back saying, Are you single? And I guess we couldn't go far en enough. But Drew Plays replies here. Didn't mean to call. Then she implies yes. Drew Place replies, Can I have you? She answers, Yes. Then Drew Place posts a kissing emoji. Then Alice replies, Mmm, sex. 
Drew Blaze replies, do you have any social media? Alice replies, you are the social media of my heart. Drew Blaze replies, aw, oh, babe. And she replies again, sex, lol. And then, this is probably number one of these. I honestly don't even know where to start. Let me see. I first heard about this one night in December. Drew and Bridget said they wanted to tell me something. They, he said crap like, I've done something pretty bad. And you're probably gonna hate me for this, lol. Acting like it was a joke. Then he told me, in his own words, I got really horny on Robux condos, and I sent pictures to a girl on there. Then he told me what he meant by that. He meant literal dick pics. He sent dick pics of his own dick to a minor, a 12-year-old girl on a Roblox strip club game. It was, and still is, disgusting. He told me himself, I didn't hear this from. Any strangers. This is all true. He ruined that poor girl's life. He's a little legal pedophile in the state of California. Okay, so now we got we got more information that Andrew lives in California. That is uh, pretty surprising and bad. Then this thread continues here, which says he cheated on his 14 to 15 year old girlfriend at the time with multiple girls as well, and manipulate and manipulating the same girlfriend to help him dox people. He also has her mother's phone number. Drew also called multiple people slurs and threatened us if we said anything anything about the situation. And that reads, this is my number if you want to text on my phone number. And then here are some more Discord messages, which says from Bridget, hey, Crimson replied, sub. She replied, someone is wondering if you know how to talk to someone. So I'm sorry if I spelled that wrong. Crimson replies, no, who is it? That I said I knew how to dox someone because I don't. Bridget replies, I don't know. Another person had passed it on and told me to ask. And he replied, oh. And then I'm going to have to say this in the context because it is not good for Drew Place to do that. Unless he did it in a, in a um, dark humor context. But this message is not a dark humor context. So I'm going to read this for context. Drew plays replies, get a mother fucking life, you nigger. And Chris replies, is everything okay? Bridget replies, no. Chris replies, what's going on? I'm really confused. Chris replies again, you're clearly associating yourself with a pedophile. I'm trying to help you. You don't deserve it. Bridget replies, live a, live a new profile pic, which she changed, which she changed into. Chris, before you try to continue, I already know. I've been told off by many people now. I know that you're trying to help, but I got this myself. Don't worry about it now. Chris replies, okay, I just want you to make the right choice. You don't deserve to be manipulated. 
Derpy replied he has deactivated his Twitter and Discord, but he needs to be held accountable for his actions. Please report or leave constructive criticism on how he can better his actions. Please do not twitch hunt him. Another tweet from Derpy reply says he has admitted what he has done wrong. Thought he he has a screenshot of Drew plays before his channel got deleted, which says, I'm sorry guys, I can't control myself. He spelled control wrong, by the way, and he's 18. I sent pictures to one of my fans. I'm so, so sorry. Please forgive me. Then this happened. Derpy tweeted that Drew plays getting arrested on video. Derpy replied, We were in call with him confronting and he admitted to his actions and his family walked in saying the police are inside. Yeah. You know, that's that's one of the weirdest things that a content creator who's like into kids in a sexual way his own age is just so disgusting. I mean, you turn 18 and you're into children sexually is just bad. I mean, I can find be friend, being friends with a, ch- with a child younger than me, I can never go sexualize them like that. I'm, I don't know what Drew Place was thinking anyway. But, of course, after Derpy tweeted this out, and apparently Cole had to t- tweet the unnecessary thing here, which said, which he said, this could be very bad, and he might get in legal trouble and stuff. Could you take g- get in trouble for sharing this video? Just saying, you might want to take this down just to be safe. No, Cole. As many people told have told you, sharing a video like this is not going to get anyone like derpy in trouble people who talk about sexual accusations or allegations or in this case actual proof done this all the time and and plus I think Derpy is okay. He's not going to get in legal trouble. As I said, people do that all the time. They expose the person who is getting in trouble because of what they did was wrong. And you don't need to reiterate. I know you were, you're probably friends with Derpy, but you need to relax. Derpy is not going to get in trouble. He is fine. He had every right to post this. Like, really, Cole, relax.
man. Here comes this video of of a screen recording of a Discord call from behind the scenes. And uh, Derpy says in that tweet, Drew Place mother explained why the police came to their house. Unmuted. So, yeah. Listen to this. I'm not even in this website, well, I swear on my life I would never be on this website. I don't know, a lot of people are just in random scene about that. I promise you, Mom. I, I swear. That's Bridget. I don't know who. I don't, I don't know. And then... Derpy continues by saying that Keeler guy... Mars 23 Matt 41006 and the KFC Gaming are in the video. Drew wanted Drew wanted YouTuber to forgive him instead of forgiving the victims and wanted me to delete the tweet. The police came over because someone emailed his principal over him inappropriately with minors. Yikes. And yikes it is. Because I can tell by the way by the way his mother said illegal I don't think that she would ever raise his son like that. And I really feel bad for her. I really do. Derpy tweeted then then within within the next uh hour or so on January 21st, saying that Komiko is on Drew Place Live as well, which reads, Homie, I'm be real with you're young and clearly not downing the way of your situation. The fact that you're on stream playing games shows no empathy. Focus on burying yourself. And then comes the apology video. But if you click on that, it's probably deleted along with the rest of the channel. I mean, earlier on, I was I saw that uh, that Drew plays practically deleted his entire YouTube channel. So. Yeah, it says that video is unavailable and this video has been removed by the uploader, which means that he removed the video. And just as I suspected, he Derpy tweeted that Drew Plays deleted the Apology video, which the original title is My Response, My Apology for this 2020. 
I know he meant 2021, but, uh, whatever. He's probably a little bit stupid, so I'll give him props for not wanting to be precise, even though we are uh, technically, officially, in 2021 now. And then Derpy tweeted that by saying, no wait, we got Drew Place and Drama Alert. Which probably later on led to Drew Place del deleting his YouTube channel. And then comes Jackson Place who tweeted the full video of Drew Place's apology. Hey guys, my name is Drew Place, and I'm going to be talking about the situation in 2020. Yes, I sent a picture to a minor, and I'm sorry if I did that. That's not a right of me doing that, and I want to take full actions what I did, and I'm so sorry for what I did, guys. I'm really, really sorry. I apologize for what I did and sent a picture to a minor, and I regret doing that. I want to take full responsibility of my actions and make up all these things I want to do and I just want to address that I want to fix fix my life together and put into a better life and be a good person for everyone here I know what I did was wrong and I'm sorry I'm really really sorry and I swear on my life I uh, this is really the baddest part of me and I did not like this of me I am disappointing myself a lot. I know everybody's disappointed me, but I am sorry if I did this and I know you guys won't support me anymore, but this is not right of me sending a picture to a minor. So I'm sorry, everybody. And I want to become a better person in life. I'm taking this, res res I'm taking this responsibility by full actions. I'm not going to let this go out of me i want to learn what what i i want to learn from my mistake i want to become a better person in life i want to take value of it and learn from other people's videos about it a people's situation situation <laughs> anyways guys i hope you guys video make sure to not subscribe i guess i don't, I don't know at this point i'm just really sorry for everything All right, so I watched a few videos about Drew Plays, and some people didn't think that his apology was genuine, but uh, after deleting his YouTube channel and probably all of his social media accounts, Led me to believe that he's practically not coming back for a while. Was it not genuine because he... He deleted the apology? Yeah, it probably wasn't genuine of him to delete the apology. But I don't think it wasn't genuine of him to make a poor apology. I don't think that apology was poor at all. It's the deleting part that had to be poor. But I have to question Drew Place's mind. Why would you do that in the first place if you knew that you shouldn't be doing that such a thing? I mean, you're fucking 18 and... You're doing this? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Someone then tweeted that Drew plays as a second channel, but, uh... 
by clicking on this Now practically isn't Drew Place's second channel. Plus the Instagram account I clicked on earlier is uh, gone. So No way, man. Are you serious? Okay, another YouTuber is getting hit with a Carson situation. You know what I'm talking about. A Roblox YouTuber known as Drew Plays. Hey guys, my name is Drew Plays. Yes, I sent a picture to a minor, and I'm sorry if I did that. That's not a right of me doing that. And yeah, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, my Tyree. Yeah. I think someone just cr created a Drew Plays channel and just wanted to make fun of Drew Plays. So I don't think that's his official channel, but still, he's learned his lesson. But I think Keemstar might be right that that it could be that, that it could be because Drew Place was being swatted by cops I'm not really sure if he's actually getting arrested because I didn't really see any you know reports about it but uh Whatever. The point is that if you're a content creator, you should not be doing pedophile things. And Drew Plays at the age of 18 should know better already. I mean, his mom probably didn't raise him to be this way, and the fact that she had to find out that Drew plays, or as I would like to call him by his real name, Andrew, had to send some dick pics to a minor is just completely gross and wrong. If Drew plays, actually goes to jail though then I'll probably make another video on this quite soon but um yeah Drew plays you're you're a fucking retard that's all that's what I'd say you're a retard please don't ever do that again